if you've ever used Linux, then it's very likely that if you've used the terminal, that you're typing in bash. Bash scripting is essentially just taking those terminal commands such as like ls, cd, move, and then compile like you compiling it together, linking those commands together to have some grand effect. Essentially, that is is bash scripting. It's just putting already existing programs because that's what it is at the end of the day. The program cd, but like cd, move, ls, concatenate. All these are just programs, especially like, you know, they're simple functions, you know, they do very simple things, but then start to look at things that are more complicated, like grep or orc, you know, these are like proper programs and they have a lot of functionality. Scripting is essentially taking already existing programs and not building it up from scratch, but using the already existing, already existing tools and linking it to have some grand effect. Python, on the other hand, is like a proper programming language, right? You can build programs from the ground up. But also, you can script because it's just so like simple to use. Now, if you've watched my videos, you would see that I've made a lot of Bash videos talking about how to script this and do this in Bash or whatever. However, I've made no Python videos. And to be honest, that was literally just because I didn't learn Python until like very recently. Like only for uni, I learned Python. And now, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, I've always knew like people would use Python for scripting compared to Bash. But like, when is it appropriate to use it? So yeah, I researched it and I figured out like, these are the reasons why and when to use Python or Bash over the other. So let's look into the advantages and disadvantages of both Python and Bash. Now the two major advantages of Bash is that number one, it's very easy to interact with your operating system, such as like, it's very easy to like move a file name to whatever, you know, you want to, or like, like change files move files like literally like change the file like text information and all that so interacting with the operating system it's very easy with bash as well bash is quite old now bash is you know it doesn't really update i don't think there is like a major version of bash there might be but the things stay the same you know scripts from 30 years ago scripts that are older than python itself work fine so if you want something that's very stable and you want something to interact with your operating system, with your computer, then probably Bash is going to be the choice. However, Bash also has some pretty big disadvantages. And one of them, for example, is just making programs with it, making big, you know, monolithic stuff is just a mess. Like after a hundred lines of code, it's like very like, it's kind of messy. I'm actually going to show you an example right here. I have this uh, program that I, ne I, ne I never really use, but it's our log. I actually made this for my ex-girlfriend because she started working and I don't know, I just wanted to like log her hours and stuff, but why I did it in Bash, like, I mean, like I didn't really know anything else, but like this would have been way better in Excel, but essentially you can just see like, okay, like it looks fine, you know, declaring variables, declaring, okay, Monday, Tuesday, okay, you know, a lot of things I just didn't know how to do. And then using for loops and, and here's another thing is that Bash is kind of cryptic, like said like you, you know it's like although technically it's no longer bash this is just using another program but okay here this is pure bash next dash z lp so that's a variable but dash said what does that do no idea there's no way you could know there's no way you could guess except you have to look at the manual this just means that if there is no input if this variable is empty so it's just really bad <laughs> it's just you start looking at it you're just like what the dev to, to null again like you just have to learn it and then you're looking at it and just oh and you know this is so this is such a pain this was such a pain to make it never i think it works kind of but like i not very well not very well and this would have been like a 10 minute job in excel not even like one minute job in excel and you can see this is 137 lines so i will i will never do this again <laughs> but you know, to add numbers and stuff, it's just, it's pain. Like, add numbers and then manipulate strings to get, like, the certain values and stuff. It's just really, really bad. But going back to the advantages of Bash, this right here is where Bash extremely, like, it excels extremely well. Essentially, just a few lines. And this is just quicker in Bash than it is in Python because all you do is that. Then you just do, you know, you set, like, what you want to do and then piping and like the ls like your list into d menu so you can see right here if i do llp 
this is the first line. It's just piping the, it's essentially doing LS and then just piping it into D menu and I can just select. And then whatever it's selected, it puts into the wallpaper variable. It checks if the wallpaper variable is empty. If it is empty, then it just exits there. If it's not empty, then set that wallpaper as my new wallpaper. And essentially that's how it works. So it's a very simple script and it, this is where Bash excels. Now looking at Python, Python has many advantages over Bash. For example, cross more complex processes such as like string manipulation is very easy. So you can see here, I've got some example code and to know like the exact code isn't important, but if we do something like we got print sum of calories. So if we do that, and then we just run it. So we'll see that here we have, it's essentially a list. Now let's say we just wanted the last couple. So we can see that I do here. I just want the last three to, so we could say, just give me the last three and that's it. And you know, I don't want to explain it, but then, okay, boom, just shows you the last three indexed. So it's just very simple string manipulation. If you've ever played with Python, you'll know that Python is just, it's like a dream to work in, to edit strings, to edit numbers, to anything just very easy you can convert stuff back and forth and again it's just it's beautiful compared to bash it's just so much better likewise python syntax is just very simple to read like it almost reads like english like okay all calories equals list with open blah 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 as elves then you know just read lines for elves into all calories sum of calories equals you know it just you read it and it just it literally reads like english and you know only stuff like maybe this is a little bit cryptic you look it up oh okay like so select everything from that to not including negative one. Essentially, that's what it means. Or select everything from negative three to, to the end, which is the last three, essentially. Python gives you access to all the modules in the world, essentially. Like you can have modules that tell you like how far this point is from this point, like geographically and all that. So you can do very, like you can just focus on what you actually need to focus on instead of like you know, the, oh, I need to program the latitude longitude calculator to find the distance. Like you don't need to worry about stuff like that. Likewise, however, Python has some disadvantages. So Python can interact with the OS. So you can use it to like list all your directories and stuff. But usually I'm pretty sure what you would have to do is, you know, do something like import OS. And then to do that, you could do OS and then, you know, open, and then you could do open some file or open and, you know, just, you can, but you have to interact with it through like a object, which is just like compared to compared to Bash, where in Bash you just do like ls, and like it's like you're literally writing terminal commands. Whereas Python, it's just a level of abstraction that again, it doesn't make it hard. Just you know, just it's not as simple. And Python tends to break. Well, in Python updates, like there have been major versions of Python and. Python code in the past just doesn't work anymore. Like my, like 10 years ago, like the Python code written then just, it doesn't work because they'll take or they'll add new features and stuff. They'll change how features work. So Bash doesn't have this problem. So when should you use Python or Bash? To put it simply, if you want to have something that's very stable, very like it's very simple, but stable and that will last for a long time, you're going to use Bash. If you want to do something more complex and you don't mind if it, you know, breaks, like it'll break in a couple years, then you're going to use Python. But even if you wanted to do something that's like complex and stable, your best bet is Python still. I would not recommend like, because you have to understand like, there is a trade-off. Like, for example, people will say Python's horrible. Like you just use C for everything, which is stupid because C, although it's very fast or C++, very fast. To do certain things, it's just so much harder in those languages compared to Python. So it's a trade-off for speed in terms of how fast the program runs. If that's very important, then you'll use these lower level languages. If it comes down to how fast you can write the code, then you're gonna use Python because you know you will lose seconds, but again, it really depends on the task. Like if it's you're doing something over and over again that adds up, then yeah, maybe you wanna use a lower level language, but there's, a, there's always a trade off. But when it comes to Bash, Bash is simply just like, it really gets messy because it's not, it, it kind of is, but it kind of isn't a programming language. Like it has programming features, but I would never want to write like an entire like program in Bash. Bash is good with, you know, low amounts of code, file operations, just simple things that you'll do in the terminal. But, you know, let's say you just want to automate some process that you always do in the terminal, then Bash is perfect for that. Whereas if you're doing something that's more complex, string manipulation and all those kind of like more fancy kind of things, Python is where to go.
like and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this comment below if i forgot to mention something or there's like another scripting language or something like that that i don't even know about and i'll see you guys next time peace